Good morning, folks. You already know March was warm for the United States. Well, Santa Claus was sweating down to his jingle bells up there as well. There's another oil spill in Nigeria. Updates to come. You may remember that we were anxiously awaiting the solar wind speed drop. This is the last seven days here. The coronal hole stream spiked it at the end, and now it is coming back down. The earthquake and volcano watch peaked with Saturn opposing the sun. She did not disappoint a 7.0 in Papua New Guinea, a bit north on the Kamchatka Peninsula. We had a volcano eruption. There was a 6.5 earthquake off the coast of Chile, another eruption in Ecuador, not far from other volcanoes on watch. Lastly, while Greece gets your moderate quake swarms, a 5.5 was definitely enough to raise an eyebrow or two. There's a lot happening on the sun right now. You see a faint filament erupting down here. There was an M flare in the middle of the day yesterday. You can see it's straddling the 1700 hour. Ovation Prime actually gets a little zap around that time. And it did spark a radio blackout, but more importantly, this coronal mass ejection. It's not any kind of joke whatsoever, folks. Be very thankful that's not coming our way. But as you can see here on the CME Evolution Endless Spiral, it really isn't going to be missing us by much, and it is turning towards us now. Let's have a look at some of these active regions. This one down here is still big, but still magnetically simple. Not much threat. This little guy above it poses more of a threat than that one down below, but here over to the left, this is our culprit for the CME. Just turned the limb, ready to say hello in a couple of days. You can see its eruption here on the left, but look to the right, to this uh, thin filament. It is becoming unstable as we speak. You can see a coronal cavity down here. The same force is levitating. That little line of plasma are also pushing away coronal particles, creating an empty area. And we have a filament acting up on the southeast as well. The earthquake watch continues, folks, and the solar watch begins. That's the news. Be safe.